Uh, Matt, uh, G25 driver, 10.5. Yeah. He's got a bit of loft there. Yeah, I need all the loft I can get, to be fair. We worked uh, a bit in at the beginning of the year, though, didn't we? With, we did, uh, yeah. I had 9.5 degrees, and um, you know, sort of halfway through the beginning of the season, I was you know, struggling a little bit and decided to make a few swing changes. And as a consequence of that, needed a, a drive with a little more loft to sort of just get it up in the air a little bit more. And just adding that degree of loft really helped um, sort of my driving accuracy and driving length a little bit more. Okay, so in the three wood, we've again got the Fabuki shaft, which is a little more tip flexible, which Matt likes the feel of. It's important to get a driver shafts that not only work for the player, but they've also got a feel right for the player. So we've gone driver and three wood with the same shaft. That's a 15 degree, and that's pretty much set up at 15. Yeah, yeah. And then your gamer clubs, your little hybrids, which yeah. you've used for a while. I like cheating sticks, to be fair. You've got so the G15, they've got quite a bit of offset on those, which yeah. not everyone likes, but for some players it's it's been the best thing. Yeah, that, I mean, I've had them in there. I think they're the longest serving clubs in there. Um, you know, I've had the 17 for the best part of three years. Um, and, you know, they'll take a, a really good golf club to get it out of my hands. I feel really confident with them. And, you know, I'm not in a rush to sort of, you know, swap them kind of thing. They're, they're something that I can rely on and, you know, I trust them. Um, sort of with my life really. Uh, the irons, the S55, I know you've just yeah, only just started to just, work with these. Yeah, exactly, you know, they're, they're a new iron out, they're a really, really great looking iron. I, I, you know, some of the other guys use sort of I-20s and answers irons, but I sort of like the look of uh, an iron with not a lot of offset on it. So S56s and S55s I've used pretty much, you know, sort of my whole um, sort of got ping career kind of thing and uh, I really like the, the new look of them they look a lot smarter than the S56 and they feel great off the club uh, you know off the club face they're a little bit longer than, than the, the sort of S56s I think. In wedge side you've got quite a few wedges in here yeah. and I'm going to ask you about wedges because you're one of the best scramblers out on yeah. tour. Yeah you know I feel like you know I've never really been the longest player um, sort of over my career and you know definitely my wedge play has sort of helped me out and you know I feel very comfortable sort of around the greens and sort of from 100 yards and in so you know I've got four wedges in there I feel like I've got them gapped pretty nicely at you know pitching wedge 52, 56, 60 they give me a, a nice sort of you know range of yardages from about 80 yards going up to about 125 yards. And then the last the last one is your putter yeah uh, which is a Scottsdale Wolverine H but it's got a slightly different tour finish on it it's got a blasted star blast finish on it and that's because this is an older model but Matt liked the insert, which yeah. is the TR insert, the True Roll insert, which we feature on the on the newer putters. But yeah. so Matt's got an old putter with a new insert. So uh, yeah, I mean, I used the I used the Wolverine head from sort of long ago as middle of last year, and uh, I tried the the new True Roll fi uh, face in Dubai, and you know it was like night and day sort of um, indifferent. You know, it's a lot more forgiving from mishits and stuff. And you know, Ping were kind enough to sort of put the new new face in, uh, in the old head and I really like the look of it and stuff.